Welcome back to the Clashing Conferences Baseball Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Hey, look who got out of their cages this week. I know those faces. Lewis and Paul. Hello, boys. Howdy. Hello. Michael, how you doing? Uh, Not as good as last episode, but no. part part of this losers club with these guys. At least I showed up this week (laughs) after my team lost. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we, we are go. the baseball podcast. Here you go. Here you However, go. we don't really have any baseball to talk about because uh, everybody's team is out, including our sweet, sweet prince, Grimace. Lewis, you want to give a few words? Imposter, I'm glad they're out. <laughs> Bury that man, throw him over to Hudson or something. Forget him. Such a hater. Mr. Mm-hmm. Met, Mr. Met put a hit on them. Love it. There were a lot of good uh, internet trolling and, and memes and all kinds of stuff about Grimace this week. Mm-hmm. I'm glad he's gone. Forget him. Paul, would you like to uh, share a time or a feeling about Grimace that you may have had? <laughs> uh, I feel like it's over, and so I'm overjoyed. There's my feeling right there. <laughs> Mike is the it, first I, person to call out corny stuff. And that was one of the corniest things I've ever seen in my life. So I don't ever want to hear anything from you again about anything that anybody ever I got to be honest. I, 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 because it's kind of on my playlist and pops up randomly. I, I heard OMG yesterday and it didn't have oh the same feeling God. as mm. it did for the past four and a half months. Mm. I mean, did you have some? Some tissues in hand? No, no, but it just, it wasn't the same vibrant, let's jump up and down to it and have a good time with it. You know did did you I mean? have to pull over on the side of the road and just, like, gather yourself? <sighs> That's understandable. Just lost somebody close to him. We'll be back. I'm not worried about it, you know. Oh, like, I, I, I had to it. sit quietly all year long, as Lewis would tell me, we got more wins than you. We got more wins than you. Well, who had more wins at the end of the year, Lewis? You guys did. It's a, it, hey, listen. I'm okay with that. You know, nobody was expecting the Mets to make it this far. You guys did. Very Congratulate true. you on that. You know, at least I don't have to dress up like Grimace now. Uh, you just <laughs> that that is something to celebrate for you. Mm. I agree. Yes. It was getting close. It was getting mm. close for a little bit. Now now with that being said though, so now you think you think they're going to spend the money and go after Soto or? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we talked about it last week. I, Steve Cohen is the richest man in baseball. It's not close. He's got more money than anybody, and he wants to spend it. He's not just an owner. He is a Mets fan. He grew up a Mets fan. He bought that team a couple of years ago because he wants to see them win a World Series before he dies. And he is gung-ho that he is going to. I mean, you saw it two years ago when he went out and paid the kind of money that he paid to Scherzer, and they tried to do it once already, but they they weren't smart about it. They mm-hmm. they got guys that were too old and brittle, and it it didn't work. And now you got this young GM in there from Milwaukee who has spent his whole career living on a budget, and this guy knows how to build a team. I believe he's going to do it, and I believe he's going to start with Soto. I'm I'm really excited about the off season. So I'm looking take, at Soto, take, I'm looking at Burns out of Baltimore, the, the best pitcher on the market. I think we're going to eat people up. Okay. You, you take one guy over a few more pieces? It's not going to be one guy, Lewis. We are okay. going to spend money like you have never seen. We got a hundred and like more than $150 million coming off the books. They got a lot of that money, money coming in. A lot of that money isn't even money that was actually on our team this year because we still paid so we still paid Verlander's contract this year. We still paid Scherzer's contract this year. They're like I don't know what they Bobby were Bonilla. twenty thirty million dollars a year or something like that. Even maybe even more. 
that we were paying on them. So, I mean, we got so much money coming off the books. It wouldn't surprise me if we signed Soto and still kept Alonzo for, a, you know, $150 million or more. That's that's a lot of Happy Meals. Yep. Kramer's going to have to sell. Hey, Cohen's got the money. Cohen's, mm-hmm. got, there, Cohen's got unlimited money. He has said he's willing to spend his money to make this happen. We're going to spend it. It's going to be fun. And so now, I feel like we're left with the nightmare that is L.A. versus New York. Barf. Well, I mean, I thought well, that you- I was a little, uh, I mean, I knew that I was trying to figure out if baseball wanted New York against New York or New York versus L.A. So mm-hmm. I was going to see if they were going to try and push the Mets to win. But um, I think the Shohei factor is a no-brainer. You have to mm-hmm. have Shohei. It's, it's the, too strong. The amount the- of of the money. I, I What was it? Uh, let me Let me look at the stats here. Uh, what game was it? Uh, there was a stat about how much of like literally here it is. Um, so game five of NLDS uh, had 13 million viewers in Japan. That's 10% of their population. 10% yeah. of the population wow. at nine in the morning on a Saturday, watch that freaking game. That's ridiculous. And there's nothing but money signs wow. coming from that. Nothing mm-hmm. but money signs. And that stupid baseball just sold for 4.4 million too. So mm-hmm. I mean, I was waiting for you to bring that one up. Yeah, what? Four point four. Uh, so I mean, I, to be honest, wow. I think if 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 the Dodgers win the World Series, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think anybody's going to, but I think you could re-auction it, and then you could make money whoever sold it, which they won't do. Mm-hmm. But I think mm-hmm. it'll go up. Um, he's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, I wonder who bought it. Uh, you're probably never going to know. Mm. Uh, but so it's a ball. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is absolutely a baseball, and it's not even going to be autographed. <laughs> so. I, I think that series is going to be pretty exciting, to be honest. I mean, I'm uh, well. You've got. I'm not even a huge baseball fan outside of the Mets, but I mean, like, I, if I had to, <laughs> if if I had to, like, sit and watch a baseball game, I would prefer to have <laughs> two teams that have bona fide stars and like people you know and you know, exciting players to watch. And you're going to get that out of people like Judge and Otani and Betts. And there's some very, and Soto, there's some very big names that Mm -hmm. are going to be playing in the World Series. And that part of it is exciting a little bit. I think there's like six of the top 10 or six of like the top 15 of in some stat, this this like Chris Peterson crap, where it just, (laughs) but like one of the real stats where it's, I mean, where when you break it down, it's, it's impressive. Like Aaron Judge, Otani, Mookie Betts, a couple other yep. ones. Uh, Soto's in there as well this year. Like, it's exciting. Like, I'm going to enjoy watching two teams that I don't want to win uh, because it's going to be freaking awesome. And I could care less about the pitching. I hope it's underhand softball pitch because all I want to do is just see just, uh, I mean, I want to see them score more points than the New York football giants do, which, again, is not not a huge. Hey, it's, yeah, it not, doesn't take much. Yeah, but I want to see a couple <laughs> touchdowns out there. I still can't believe what the Dodgers are doing with their pitching. I mean, they're throwing like, I don't know how many bullpen games now in the playoffs where they didn't even start a starting pitcher. Even when their starting pitchers are pitching, I mean, they went, they were going four innings strong against us when they were coming to us and the bullpen come in, pitch the bottom five. So, I mean, that's just unheard of to be this strong through the playoffs with really no starting Nobody. pitching. You normally need like at least two studs mm-hmm. in, in most years and most teams to be able to navigate through the whole playoffs. And they're just turning that completely around. I just I just want to see Judge and, and Otani go back to back. That's it. I want to see them and, I want to see them actually next to each other. I want to see what they look like next to each other. I want to see how big Otani really is. Well, first game's what, Friday? Yeah. We already determined that Judge is much bigger than Otani. Oh, absolutely. That's, I'm not doing it to try and figure out how big Judge is. I'm going to see how big Otani is. I mean, Otani's big, but Judge is man child. So, what, what, what was it? Otani was what, 6'3? Six, 6'5? Six, oh, I don't think he's 6'5. I think Judge is close to like. I think it was 6'3 or 6'4. Judge was 6'7. 6'7, yeah. Seven, yeah. No, Otani I was 6'3 so- or 6'4, I think. So you mentioned the pitching. 
I wonder if it was game seven, they need a pitcher. Do they throw Otani in there? They're saying he's been throwing a little bit. I mean, he's, his rehab has been going well. I don't know that he's completely, I mean, he's certainly not stretched out, but he might be able to give you an inning or two. I mean, hey, to win it all, you might as well put all your chips on yeah. the table. Oh, my God. If, he, if, if that were to happen in a game seven and he were to <laughs> win it for them, like especially a game where he was a hitter and, you know, and he, yo, free oh game, my there was no plans, no socialized plans to have him pitch, and he ends up pitching like at the end or something like that. I, I, I don't know. I, I think the world would come to an end. It'd be unbelievable. Come in, come in to save the game. Like literally, I think there would be crazy. all world peace starting right then. There should be like you know everybody needs to stop because that was just like <laughs> unbelievable. I was reading something about this <laughs> the pitch that brought the world to peace. There right. was an article that talked about it, and it said it. One of the things it talked about was how much more difficult it would be for him to pitch in relief. Um, you know, when's he going to warm up? Because if he's if he's got a bat at a certain point or like, you know, you know, you can't be warming up when you're at bat. So everything would have to line up perfectly for when they would want to try to bring him in. But it's not as easy as, you know, just thinking he's going to be able to go out there and pitch whatever inning they get in a jam. And like, you know, he's just going to go out there and pitch because you, you got to warm up. And if you're already you're already part of the game that's ongoing, it's a little bit tougher to do. I don't know, but I think it'd be funny if he's in the outfield or something like that, and all of a sudden he's warming up with the outfielders, and you can just see like the center fielder just kind of sit there, and he's just catching nukes from him. Like literally, he's like, "Why are you playing toss at seventy miles an hour, <laughs> dude?" That I'm would be up. crazy. That that I, that would, dude, cameraman, all the cameras are just going to be focusing on him. Then. Oh, if he were to make any movements towards the bullpen, whole place would mm. just go nuts. Doesn't matter if he was in New yes. York or whatever. Yes. I'm a little surprised at your comments, Paul. Talking about world peace, it seemed like you were on a Bond villain vendetta this entire year against major cities. And I, I'm, I'm, you, you must have like did some yoga or something on that trip you went on. I feel like you came back a little, little Kama Sutra. <laughs> I need a little <laughs> yoga after that trip, to be honest. <laughs> and I need some Jesus or something. I don't know. That was uh, that was that was hedonism out there. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> place is nuts. Unexpected. <laughs> so I guess I don't know. You guys like baseball? Who do you want to see win? I personally don't care. I hope they both. Lose no, I them. absolutely uh, would love to for LA to win. I don't really have that much of a problem with LA as a whole. Not in baseball. Yeah, I I, I agree with Paul. I I'll take Dodgers. I have a tiny financial interest in the Yankees. <laughs> I'll take them. Well said. Well said. <laughs> little, little financial. It's interest. not a big one, but, but uh, you know, it would be nice. That's what mm -hmm. she said. The, the for me, obviously, the Yankees are the Yankees. So, and then over here, it's L.A. And so, you know, we always have a rivalry with them. But then Mookie's there, and it's sad because we should have paid him, and that was about the time we win a championship. He has an MVP season, and then all of a sudden. Oh, we don't want to pay our guys anymore. We don't want to make big free agent splashes. We don't want to, right? And then we go from champions to bottom dwellers pretty much ever since. So Mookie could have been here winning championships with us, and instead he's out in L.A. So that irritates me, but I understand why he did what he did. I'm mad at ownership for not keeping him here. Oh, I'm pretty, uh, I'm in the same boat, uh, but with Freddie Freeman. Uh, I don't, Freddie Freeman didn't really want to leave the Braves. And he was kind of figuring out why he was leaving the Braves in the first place. I mean, that, that was a was, weird one. Yeah, that was his agent like manufacturing that. And he was like, oh, we're, we're not going back to Atlanta. He was like, no, I got you a deal here. You're going to get all this money. Like, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, I mean, it, it worked out okay, I guess. Uh, I mean, Matt Olson is, is a pretty good replacement, a little bit younger, and has been just fine. Uh, but, you know, Freddie Freeman, I think uh, he was a little rocky last year, the year before. He was injured and some other stuff. He wouldn't do his – I mean, but he's back to true form. I mean, if there weren't a Mookie Betts and Shohei on the team, uh, he, people would have been he, talking he, about him a lot. He might have missed it during vacation, but uh, he, he's got some kind of plantar fascia issue, yeah, I, I, I believe, I was gonna right say, now. And he wasn't fully – He didn't even play in the last game, I don't think. No, he no. Didn't. no, they scratched. No, I know they they scratched him. And, okay. and what happened in like the very first inning? 
the first baseman missed the ball on the throw. <laughs> I was yeah. like, holy crap. This is, I knew this was going to, like, that was like, oh, that's going to go to the World Series. Here's, here's the start of it. The fix is in. Fix is in. New York, New York. I hope he can play in the World Series. He's, so, he's such a good dude. He is. I mean, it mm-hmm. would be a shame yes. to, to, to see him not be able to play in the World Series. And the crazy thing is, like, if he comes back to Atlanta and every time he has, he'll never get booed. Like, he's like, he's a, oh, no. He's, he's a good guy. And, like, if he were to be like, you know what? I'm going to sign, like, you know, uh, when he gets even a little bit older, because he's getting up there now. But, I mean, you know, a couple years, and he's, like, wants to come back. Oh, my God, open arms. Do whatever you want. You know, now that we got just, you know, DH in the in the, in the the NL, be like, yeah, sure, you can just do that. I don't care. Just him being there is enough. I think fans at home also would like to know, how are the flying squirrels doing? <laughs> uh, they're doing better now that uh, ground has been broken on a brand-new stadium that's not going to suck. So nice. Not going to have any Koreans or any of that stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> Actually, there's going to be lots of cranes. So you're saying the statue's going to be there? Lots of cranes. Lots of cranes. Uh, I, I, I'm going to look at the content uh, manager, <laughs> and I'm going to look for a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Do we elaborate <laughs> on this and explain to the audience? Okay. So... If you've been watching the show, in one of our first episodes, Paul was talking about the Brave Stadium being taken down. He was talking the Indian, about a lot the of... Indian. It was the Indian. Yeah, yeah, there was a huge minor, minor league team. We, long story short, all of us got confused on what he said. I, we didn't know if he was talking about Native American people, Korean people, or cranes, and it turns out that <laughs> it was it made sense, but he had to explain it to us, and so basically the whole season, that's been a running joke in the group chat. So just for context purposes, the cranes are coming to tear down the stadium and give the flying squirrels a new one. Yep. Thank you. It's you not, said, it's not Peyton Manning. You said, it's Peyton Manning. Yeah. I got Woo! you. You, Ukraine, you Ukraine, coming? Ukraine, that, right. That's what I mean. There's, a, <laughs> how did other countries, a group of people get involved in the stadium thing? This is confusing. What is going on in Atlanta? I mean, there's North Cranes and there's South Cranes. There's <laughs> yeah, Cranes. There's I was so the lost. Cranes. They're I coming was, from everywhere. So we Lots have cleared it up. We have cleared it up. No countries. Uh, we're suing groups of people. <laughs> Only machinery is coming here to have heavy machinery. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, oh, but, my uh, God. But the team blows. It, it, team here blows, we love but everybody. I'm, but I'm hoping a new stadium, they'll be able to get a better team there is what I'm hoping for. Yeah. If you don't go back to your college tagline, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> Which is not nothing that can be said on air, but ah, just <laughs> that's behind our paywall. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes that's... on bikes, boys. A uh, couple things before we go into the half, but I wanted to ask you is there any interest in joining my movement and starting a petition to expand the baseball playoffs? Oh, yeah. I mean, 100%. It's not by adding more. It's by taking away some, you know, you don't need 162, damn it. I'm sorry. I'm against it. We don't need to hand out participation trophies. The playoffs were already expanded once, even twice, maybe. There's enough teams that make the playoffs. We oh, don't no. need more well, teams. Well, the I'm, wild, not talk- wild card I'm not talking about used teams. To be one I'm talking out. about games. Like, I don't want like a three game, five game, and seven game series. I want seven game series. Oh, I'm fine with that. Yeah. As long as we're not adding no. more teams no. to the playoffs. No, 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 no. I'm not. No. I'm not saying mm-hmm. like you got a 50. 50. And I'm I don't not, want it. I don't I'm want not, everybody to have I'm 50, not taking regular season games away either. You you play in the cold if you want to sure. expand. Uh, that's fine with me too. Sure. But I like seven, seven, seven. But I just again compared to hockey and basketball. If you want to win a championship, you got to win 16 games. Baseball 11. You could short change your way. 11 games and win? That's bonkers to me, especially when you play 1,000 million regular season games. No reason behind it. Petition. Mike, so you're in or out? I'm out. Well, what? I'm out too then. Yeah. I'm just talking you're, about this. What? You're out just like the freaking bats. Lewis, Lewis. you're going to beat me at PJ Wheeling. You are we'll also out. Going. You've been out longer than us. We beat you. I like it. Okay, and where are you at right now? Participation trophy, sitting on the couch. When are we going fishing? Let's go. We're sitting in the no content bin at Walmart. Your argument just, like, changes with the times all year long. 
Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Hey, hold on. Enjoy your shirt. Thank you. Appreciate it, does that. Does it say you won? Maybe, maybe one of these days you'll get one. Yes, it says I won. I'm asking. I'm being serious. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Or does it say that? I just see rep my team. It's it's on the back. Oh, okay. All right. It says goose real big with a zero on it. You drew it on there yourself. <laughs> uh, it was custom. That's awesome. I like it. Just just like the Mets mascot, custom. Mm. All right, boys. Before we go into the half, friendly reminder to all the people out there, we are a sports fan network constantly looking for new people. And as a matter of fact, we've already brought in two new people under the umbrella. Patty, who you guys got to meet last week. Cody, who's going to be coming and repping UK. And Anthony, who's been a guest before on the basketball podcast. He will be joining me and those other two new gentlemen on our new rotating college podcast. Uh-huh. You want more details? Don't we all? I guess you'll have to stay tuned and find out. Check it out. But also, we're going to have, like, it'll be like crossover episodes. We'll have various guests from time to time popping in, just like your favorite 90s sitcom. Right, Lewis? You going to pop in and say hi? Yes, sir. Mikey, hi. Mike, Mike, you can say no to this one because I feel like you deserve a break. UConn. Okay, Mike's in. Good. Paul. <laughs> what are we talking about? Uh, sports. It's sir. rhetorical. Mm. Yes. No tar okay. heels. All right. Ooh. I think we found somebody better than you for tar heels already. No, yeah, we did. Perfect. Whoa. But thanks for going behind so, my back to my kid. Like, really? What was that? I Ooh. just had to put that together myself. Well, I think you were, you were out of reach. I was, you were out of reach. I was. I'm mm-hmm. never out of Don't, reach. I, oh, Mike, I've Mike, been Mike, across the world and mm. still in reach. Mm. Also, don't forget, we do have the football podcast that has the Patreon up and running. And if you would like to join them in their episodes while they're filming, you can. You can join in the live audience and streamline questions straight to the guys yes. while they're doing it. Sometimes Lewis and I like to get on there and mess with them. They usually don't read what we type, but that's okay. I just like to see their reactions when they read this stuff. Oh, so. that's your Topher. <laughs> if I went in the ballpark yesterday, I would have been there. I like to I like to have yours up. I actually don't even look at their faces anymore. I look at what's in the chat if there are people in there. So <laughs> I'm all over that. I'm all over <sighs> And I love to relay it. And don't forget, Matt predicted the Redskins would win the division this year. Just saying. Burr, burr. So come back for the second half. Little something different prepared. I don't really, I don't know what we're going to do other than that, but you know, we're going to have a moment of silence for Grimace. So stay tuned. Good night, sweet prince. Hey everyone. Thanks for listening. Just a few quick reminders for everybody. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. Michael Jordan is the goat and check out our fellow podcaster, Jim Montgomery with this day in Philly sports history. Thank you. Welcome back. Hey, how you doing? You just missed quite the halftime. I'll tell you that much, but you won't be seeing any of it. No, no, no. Join uh-huh. Patreon. Might, might see something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someday when we're rich and famous, you can uh, tap in and buy this special content. But right now, no, no chance. Oh, it'll so, be as valuable as like the, uh, the Wu-Tang album. Yes. Hey. Yes. Yes. Just won't yep. sell it to Farmer Bro. Nope. Nope. Uh, also, I actually made a mistake before we went to the halftime. We also do have another member joining us under the umbrella of clashing conferences. Someone I personally know, Ben. So once we can figure out where to put Ben, where he's comfortable, he's going to be joining us too. So, I mean, geez, we really are turning into NWO. We're just keep getting guys. I like this. Yes. But we're not going to turn on each other randomly for the script. No, no Wolfpack, no BWO or no, we're not doing what? that. Hmm? Lewis turned on me like episode two. Big fact. That was that was uh, that was a nap situation though. That was a nap situation. Thank you. Thank you. You've seen Thank that video you, of that polar bear coming out of like hibernation. I'm like, is that a bear you want to walk up and pet right now? I don't think so. <laughs> Thank Let him you, wake Paul. up. Let him wake up. Take a poop. Have something to eat and sit down for Thank a minute. Thank you. Come on, Mike. Right, it, it, right. it only it only happened once. I apologize. I told you I love you and everything. I, you know? Can we just leave it in the past? 
Uh, you're gonna take that shirt off first. <laughs> oh, stop! I know I you want to. I can't I know forget. You, I know you want to motorboat his freaking dirty pillows. In that <laughs> hey, PG, sir. PG. Oh, sorry. Wedding right. crashes was PG thirteen. All right, sorry, boys. We're gonna do something a little different this week. What are your thoughts on that? Longs it involves Damn. scary. Let's Longs it involves pit viper sunglasses. It does, actually. Matter of fact. By the way, shout out to your son for having the game winning triple slash inside the park home run. I was Congrats very confused at Carmine. first. Thank you for yep. Thank you for explaining it, and that was pretty cool. So shout out to Carmine for having that, and talk about that for a second, Paul, before we move on. Well, I was actually during the podcast. I kind of wish like uh, I had turned it around so everybody could see it. It was probably the exciting time. After sitting at the ballpark, uh, I think we were in fall at that time. We had gone through spring and summer already, and it was fall <laughs> getting into winter. For, the second game was in the winter because it was a, like a 30 or 35 degree difference there. And uh, natives were getting a little restless. There was no food in anybody's bellies, and uh, the game was getting a little pretentious there. So, and they're only six, it's either six innings or, uh, or two hours. I had another game that was going to start in 20 more minutes, no matter what happened. So, Mm. I had to get it done with. So he was like, you know what? I'm going to go up here wearing number 17 in honor of Shohei Otani and uh, crank one to the fence. It probably, nice. could have been a, it probably could have been a legit home run, but they held him up at third. So they threw to third and went, into the, uh, it went by the, uh, the guy. And so he trotted home, hit the celly, and uh, took and advantage some, of went, it. Went and had some pizza. Nice. nice. And if Good you job. watch the, uh, the football pod, he'll make a. Uh, Short, short appearance on there. Nice for his fans. Nice, good job on like grimace. Uh, for the record, Anthony never hit a home run. When he was playing baseball. Just letting you know. Ooh, ooh. Let's put, wow. So that's so on the, one that, kid got on his end. athletic that's... ability from his mom, and the other kid got his Whoa. athletic ability from his dad. It all it all adds up. Yep. Anthony Douglas, this is on the internet now. You have never hit a home run in baseball. Whoa! Shots, Shots fire! fire. Guess what, folks? Anthony's going to have his own platform to shoot back at his dad, so that will also be hilarious. Mm -hmm. First, mm -hmm. first father and son duo on the clashing conferences. We're going to get the Griffies mm -hmm. to come as in, big as LeBron and Bronny. We're going to get yep. the Griffies but to better. show up. Yep. But better. We are just breaking tradition and setting records and doing all kinds that's of wild it. stuff over here. We're, we're just keeping up with the Joneses. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's all mm -hmm. we're doing. All right, boys. Well, next week is the last episode. Are you going to come prepared? Are you going to be dressed up? Are you going to be ready? It's going to be Halloween the day after that. It's going to be, you know what I mean? Time to get dressed up. Are you going to do it? Yes, sir. I'm down for it. Let's go. We got to make it. Michael, Paul. Oh, no, uh, I had no. I had a dress up outfit for Halloween picked out for the football podcast. Yeah, me but too. I might have to do something different for for uh, for baseball here. I don't know what I'll do. All right, yeah, uh, I can, yeah, I can, man. I'll do the same. I could probably use the same thing. Hmm. Same. You can do the same costume twice. Mm, we'll see. Oh, oh you man. gonna be Kirk Cousins? Huh? No, uh, I don't. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Dude, that was the first time I, I, I met Paul, by the way. I do need a haircut. No idea what was going on. He just pops into the Tinkerbell bubble, and everybody starts saying, it's Kirk Cousins, and then you I went remember on. that. Oh, Quite that when uh, the, the basketball, when Tony was there, was like, what? Mm -hmm. What's yeah. going on? I don't understand. Like, what are you saying? Yeah. Oh, my God. That was stop. The Who are you going to be? You going to come <laughs> in as Ric Flair? You know, I'm thinking of something special. I'm going to try to cook something up. I will not be wearing anything like this because it makes your forehead itchy. So no rashes, please. But we'll come up with something cool. <laughs> no rashes. Yeah. All right, boys. What time is, is it? Is it that time? Oh, we're, is it that time this week again? Let's go. Matt Lib's time. Content Let's manager. Go. You will, please. One. That's gonna come back and haunt somebody. No, 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 they're they're quick. They're quick. They're quick. Easy one goes bye bye. And we're back. Well, it it's it's not Matt Lives. I'm not throwing cards this week. I'm not asking you questions. Well, I will ask you questions. But a little differently this week, boys. So I have some categories. We're gonna call today Matt's over and under. So I would like to hear. Your thoughts, when I throw out a number, 
on something that we may or may not have done this season. So, for example, I'll give you one. Over under times Lewis said, listen. Oh, that's 300. Uh, I, under. I, yeah, I'm going to go under, but like by, by, by four. Mm. <laughs> by four. Okay. Of it. All right. Uh, let's see. Times we saw Paul's toesy woesies on camera. Seven. Too many. Too effing many. I mm. got a fresh over. I got a fresh. Did you get a petty? Socks on. Did you Keep get a petty? Socks on. I'm going to show it. No, show it. I did not get a petty. I got another Don't treatment. Weird, I got another treatment on my foot. Oh, my gosh. It looks oh like my a God. All the Civil War oh, doctors saw that yeah, thing. It's oh, gone. Yeah, that bring it up here. Does it look Somebody like Somebody let me know when it's safe. Come on. Kill it does with it look fire. like Grim Hey, look at that. Hey. Kill it with fire. Get that crap off the screen. <laughs> my goodness. It hurts like you wouldn't believe. Dude, I'm taking the over. Listen. That's called gout. That's, call <laughs> doctor. Call doctor Pimple Popper. Uh, no, him on there. She wouldn't know what to do with that. Yeah, foot herpes. Oh, exorcist, man. Yikes on bites. <laughs> Holy water. Whee. Yeah. Uh, pair, pairs of glasses that I wore this year. Fifteen. Under. Under. I don't think we've had fifteen episodes, so I think under. Doesn't matter. He could have changed them between episodes. Okay, well, I was on do those you, episodes, and I don't remember. Do you know the episodes. answer to that one? Moi? Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve oh. or thirteen. Okay. Hey. All right. We, we're all right then. We made it. Yep. That's awesome. You have a sunglasses right. uh, wall over there. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very hard for my son to not play with them and or throw them across the room when he sees them, but we do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We do. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, swear words on camera, six. Huh, well, I mean, <laughs> over. I had four over. pretty memorable ones myself, so. I had, I had one. Yeah. An Alec Bohm quote. Yes. See? I mean, I know I didn't have any. What? No. What? I, I don't think I did either. But baseball does not move me to that emotion where I need to swear. <laughs> I had two negative points to start my year and two big <laughs> FUs to Steven to end it. <laughs> oh, so what, was it under six? Yeah, it was mm. under six because it was five. Mm. Close. Uh, times I hit the buzzer. Oh, sheesh. How many episodes were there? Twice per episode. Hmm. Some errant. No, I was gonna say, again. I was like, I'll do 30. I'm close to I was 30. Gonna say 30, yeah. Go with 30. 25. So you're going under? It's supposed to be over under. under. You're supposed to give what hey, was the hey, number? Hey, hey. We That's just true. started mentioning. Okay. Yeah. Listen. I'm trying to be the good guy here, Mike. All right. I'm trying to, you're trying to, you know. Times I'm just trying to play the game as it was described to me, Lewis. Whoa, yeah. whoa, Lewis. you're getting nasty. You're yeah. getting nasty, Grimace. I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, all right, times that Lewis's smoke detector chirped in the first episode. 17. Oh, I was going to say all of them. Yes. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Over. Somebody's Way gone. Got to go back and check the episode and see who's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll let Paul do that. Oh my! Goodness. He watched the episode this year. He's our worst fan. I was there's a good one. Uh, episodes that Paul has watched of a show that he's on. One. I'm oh, under. <laughs> under. <laughs> I did have to watch the episode to figure out where I said these nuts. I made him watch. I made him watch, I, and I had to tell him like exactly where to fast forward to the first Diddy's digs. I was like, "You got to go see the production that Stephen gave you." You know, what I mean, it's oh, yeah, a big the, deal. You got to at least check it out. The intro. So he 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 went and looked at his intro. Mm -hmm. I liked when it just does the slamming on the brakes part at the end. Where, <laughs> oh my goodness! And I guess the last one, which we'll never really know. Guess we almost had on the podcast this year. I'm going to go with eight as the starting line. I'm gonna I thought go we weren't talking about what was discussed at halftime. Oh, no, no, no. Well, you could roll. I mean, I'm saying, like, I had a bunch of people that were like, 
oh, I want to come on the podcast. When can I come on? And I go, next week. And then they go, oh, my, my grandma's sick. And then eight weeks later, they got eight grandmas. And I'm like, oh, okay, yep. I'm done asking. So. I just keep dating homeless people, and that's just the way yeah. it goes, right? Just mm. keep bringing people mm. off the street into my house. I would not do that. I'm not recommended. <laughs> oh. Don't do that. You will need a crane to get them out. I got one more. How many times over under on how many times Lewis said the Phillies got more? We got more wins than you. 900,000. And then over under on how many more wins the Mets had at the end of the year. You got to give one some. over or under. Hey, Mike. Over. Oh, thanks, Mike. Paul. Wait, are, are, are the Mets playing on Friday in the World Series? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right, then. All right, then. So shut your it was, trap. It was there not about a t-shirt for me. It was shut just about trap. being better shut than you. Shut your trap. Oh, and yeah, I yeah. accomplished oh, my yeah, goal yeah. of the season. Dude, when's the last time the Mets did anything? Wow. This year. We 1986. Were better than the 1986. That's a win wow. for the Mets every is year it? that we is are it? better than the uh, Phillies. Oh, that's yep. cute. That's we're cute. better than you. Send me your address. I'm going to send you a happy meal with a grimace. We're better than you. Boys, I do have to give you some background information that I uh, realize about myself and my dirty New York connotations. So, as you probably know, I'm a Ninja Turtles fan. And I had completely forgotten that that takes place in dirty New York City. So, the entire movie is just riddled with silliness from New York. And the Ninja Turtles taught me that people need to go there and regulate and whoop some butt. So, more context to the whole dirty That's New York. That's exactly what happened to the Mets. They got their butt whooped. <laughs> who whooped your butt? Listen, now it's not who who got their butt whooped. Come on now. You just you, said you, you got your butt you whooped. Got, if we're you talking were about so, butt whoopings, oh, who We're going to win it all. We're going to win it all. Yeah, the Mets are going to do their thing. No one wants to play us. I was closer to my predictions than you were to yours, sir. How? How were you closer? Well, are, you, are you playing on Friday? My no, prediction we made it further than you. It, uh, uh, My prediction and, and you was get, spot on. And you get what? And you get what? A participation I get to talk trophy. shit on you until next year. That's what I get. It doesn't that's all matter. I want. You didn't win shit. Oh, the swears are flying, boys. You Hold didn't on win now. shit. We have regulations. By the Steve's way, my prediction was night. spot on. What was that? Braves make the playoffs and definitely do nothing. Mm. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we would. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we would get past the wild card. I didn't think there was a chance, and we didn't. I just feel like, I don't know about you guys, but again, it just started Wait, to feel but like you didn't make the playoffs, right? Yes, they did. What yeah, are you talking did. about? We lost to the Padres. Oh, that's right. What the oh, hell? Goodness. I mean, we beat you to you get see, in the playoffs. It was, it was so he memorable. Was so, he was so freaking, so stuck on those dirty New York Mets. I was. Yeah. And you see where it got you? Nowhere. It got me right where I wanted to be, Lewis, to be able to say that I was better than you at the end yeah. of the year. On the That's couch with us, yeah. and on the couch with me and Paul, let's go fishing. Yep. And no content. No content. We got content coming next week. We got a Halloween episode. We're going to have some special <laughs> guests, maybe. We got lots yep. of content. Swag wheel, yep. I think. Is there something to mention swag. about? Ooh, yeah, swag wheel. Swag wheel. Content mm -hmm. on content on content. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. You you can probably get one of these. There it is. Mm -hmm. Write it down, Steve. Write it down. No, 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 no. We don't we don't just hand those out. Those are earned, Lewis. Earned. Oh, uh, Mike, you heard that? Those are earned. Mm. Woo! Mets didn't get you that. Hey. Hey, Lewis, I got a question. They got me some playoff wins. Yes, sir. Do you still have a, a certain sign behind you and Kaka and a little bit to your left? If that's uh, not the one. There it is. All right, just making sure it was still there. The McChicken? Uh yeah. Call it nice. sure. So looks good. Looks good. I wish Grimace had popped up in that commercial right then and there. That would have been absolute magic. Oh. You've been talking to us from the beyond. Oh, Boys, do you have go. anything before we go? Yeah, I wish Mike, that was, Mike I wish doesn't have was that on his wall. Grimace. Mike doesn't have that on his wall. Cooler than me. He said, Ooh. oh, let me go visit Steve. Maybe I can win it all. Ah, psych. I scored more points than you. You're going to have to oh, get under you? that. You're going to have to get yeah, under I that did, studio, actually. Jess, like Chris did last year to win. 
Boys, I feel like when your teams get knocked out, you guys just start jumping in the rated R water like it ain't no thing. What are we doing? What are we doing? Hey, we gotta leave. Listen. This is for the kids. We gotta like, like, like Paul said, you poke the bear, you can just go. They say inappropriate you. things. Yes. I guess so, yeah. Yes. Don't wake, you know what? Don't wake the Paul, sleeping bear. Paul, Paul loves it. <laughs> Paul loves it. Paul's like, yes, poke him again. Do because I have a PhD in naps and I know that how the importance of it. I, Thank you. I used to sleep all the time at college. That's an understatement. Mm. <laughs> all right. Well, come back next week. Join us for the season series finale. We can talk more about Paul's naps and all kinds of other crazy stuff. But in all seriousness, next week, come back. Last episode, it'll be bittersweet, but. I mean, we're getting used to saying goodbye. Hey, it's, really it's, it's okay. It opens a new door for baseball, more hellos. Baseball goes out the window. We still got NFL. Basketball mm. just started. College basketball, college sports. Bing. You know, click watch, follow. Make sure you get mm -hmm. with the program. Mm -hmm. And again, if you'd like to join us, hit us up. We're always looking for new talent people. And we are growing. I got to say, we're growing. We really are. And it's amazing. So... The Olympics are going to be wild this year. I, are we? You boys better start stretching. I'm putting in that work. And I'm taking all the PESs I need to so that I can jump over a fence or whatever backyard we're doing this in. Or no, I'm running <laughs> through that fence. <laughs> open park where people are walking their dogs and playing Frisbees. And yeah, uh, we'll be can't, wait, can't wait till I see Mike. I'm just going to tackle him. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be careful he's got bad I'm, back now i am too old and disabled yep. for that dumb shit <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. you catch a charge for that now oh, 15 years uh, ago it would have been legal but now it's like a charge it's a hate crime now he's he's that fragile yeah. oh man hey mike did you apply for your handicap <laughs> no not recently <laughs> Not until yep. he gets tackled by you doing Oklahoma drills. You don't have to. Uh, don't have to worry about valet at the casino. You just get them front row seats all day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. See you next week. Last episode. Swag wheel. Last chance. Swag wheel. Uh,